Hi everybody, how's it going? In this exercise, we are going to draw the following gem in Krita. So, let's get started. The first thing we do is draw two connected line segments with a Bezier curve. The section on sketching and line art contains a lesson on Bezier, Bezier curves. So, if you're curious about Bezier curves, then just follow that lesson. Let's fill it up with gray. And then color it in. The easiest way to color it in without worrying about the edges is using alpha lock. I'm going to start to create a nice palette in the top right hand corner. After that I want to pick a nice shading color. I will use the multiply blend layer to pick the color and add it to the palette. And I would do the same using screen to pick the highlight color. Next let's add shading and highlighting. Since this object is translucent, I will add the shading in the middle and the highlighting on the sides. Keep adjusting until I am satisfied. And let's use color dodge to paint in the edges. The next step is to paint some specular lighting. See the appendix for some background theory on different kinds of materials and different kinds of lighting. After that, I will just quickly change the background color. When I do that, you see that a lot of smudges appear. Why is that? Well, that's obviously because I forgot to activate the alpha inheritance on the blend layer. I'm not really satisfied with specular light, so I'm going to try another concept. The specular light spots can be pretty hard to get right and it often takes a lot of trial and error. Next I will add a little more yellowish green as a highlight. Actually I'm going to remove this blend layer entirely.
Okay, anyway, after that, I will add another layer which will represent the background reflecting off from the gem. I draw a blue blob representing the sky. And I decrease the transparency. Let's pay attention to the curve of the gem. Remember, the horizon is going to end up curved like so. And let's use the eraser to draw in some irregularities in the horizon. Next, let's add a layer below and create some glow. I'm going to make the color glow a little darker than the color of the gem for a little added contrast. Okay, so this is pretty good. Let's say I changed my mind though, and I don't want the gem to be green, I want a purple gem. Then I can first move the reflection layer out of the way and use the color blend mode to color it in purple. We also have to rearrange the glow layer. Okay. And in this example, I will color the gem in, in two shades of purple. I can switch between the two results by activating and deactivating the layer. Finally, I'm still not completely satisfied with the specular, so I'm going to touch that up again. And I'm going to use the transformation tool to give the spot a little perspective. And there we have the final result. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.